This video will detail the steps required to install an Uplift Tech medicine cabinet with Tune technology. You'll need these tools for the installation. See installation instructions for proper rough opening dimensions. The main cabinet assembly is shipped in a large box attached to a pallet. Carefully unbox the Uplift Tech cabinet, placing it on its bottom on a large piece of cardboard cut from the shipping box. Open the door frame fully, then lay the cabinet on its back. Never open or close the door frame while the cabinet is laying on its back. Using the supplied 332nds Allen key, remove the four screws that secure the right-hand top ceiling panel inside the cabinet. Remove the panel to gain access to the electrical connection box and gently pull the electrical wiring harness out of the connection box. For Romex or equivalent wiring, pull the wiring directly through the right side electrical fitting in the top of the cabinet and through the electrical connection box. For metal shielded cable, pull the unshielded wires through the top of the cabinet and through the connection box. Then secure the grommet to the top of the cabinet. Move the rest of the cabinet into the framed opening. For semi-recess installs, be sure to leave a 2-inch space between the finished wall and backside of the cabinet flange. Make sure the cabinet is plumb and level. If the cabinet is not plumb, shim is required. While your assistant holds up the door frame, attach the two side kits using the holes on the front side of the cabinet only. Push the cabinet to the wall, then install the supplied number 10 screws to mount the cabinet to the framing, using caution to not over tighten the screws. Slide the door frame up and insert the counterweights into the counterweight tray inside the rear of the cabinet. Arrange the counterweights so they all fit into the tray. The door frame should now remain open without being held. For electric models, connect the green, white, and black field wiring to the supplied connectors. Then carefully arrange the wiring harness so it fits back into the connection box. Do not install the cover yet. See the instruction manual for wiring diagrams and other wiring options. Remove all of the protective film from the interior mirror and insert into the rear of the cabinet. Reinstall the top ceiling panel to cover the electrical connection box. Remove the left side ceiling. Remove the protective film from the left side mirror. Then install the left side mirror and reinstall ceiling. To change the Uplift Tech handle to one with a different finish, first unplug the electrical connection. Then unscrew the mounting screws on the back of the door frame while holding the existing handle. There are two screws on each side of the handle. Bring the new Uplift Tech handle into place and reinstall the mounting screws into the back of the door frame. Reconnect the electrical connector. To install the main mirror, bring the mirror above the top of the door frame and angle it so the top of the mirror can hook onto the top of the door frame. For mirrors with electric options, allow the mirror to rest on the top of the door frame and carefully reach behind the mirror and connect the electrical assemblies. Using the supplied 332nds Allen key, install the mirror mounting screws into the holes in the back of the door frame to secure the main mirror. Do not over tighten. Apply the screw caps to the exposed screw heads inside the cabinet. 
Locate the shelf height and insert the plastic shelf clips. Count the number of holes to ensure opposing clips are level with each other. Insert glass shelves by sliding them into the clips. For the lighted uplift tech with Tune technology, re-energize the circuit. The light may be on automatically when power is first supplied to the cabinet. To operate the lighted uplift tech, short press the power button to turn on the main light. Short press the middle button to adjust the color temperature of light. Long press for fine adjustment. Short press the right button to cycle through the brightness amount of the main light. Long press for fine adjustment. To set the night light timer, press and hold the night light button for 3 seconds. The night light on the door handle will flash and stay on. The night light is now programmed and will remain on for the next 12 hours. The night light will turn itself back on 24 hours after it was programmed. This programming will remain until power is lost or the programming is removed. You can also short press the night light button to turn on and off the night light at a different time. This will not affect the night light timer. To activate the mirror defogger, press and release the mirror defogger button and a red LED will illuminate. Your defogger is now on and will shut itself off after 45 minutes. Press and release your mirror defogger button with the red LED illuminated to manually turn the defogger off. Some of the mounting hardware is located inside the lockbox. Locate the place in the cabinet where you would like to install the lockbox. You may need to remove one or more shelves. Insert the mounting clips into the mounting holes in the sides of the cabinet at the desired height. Be sure the arrow on the clips point to the back of the cabinet. Secure with two screws. Insert the lockbox shelf into the cabinet slightly above the mounting blocks. Gently press the shelf against the back of the cabinet box. Then slide down until the shelf engages with the mounting blocks. Insert the four locking pins. Insert two pins per side. Once the shelf is secured, insert the lockbox. If your shelf is wider than the lockbox, adjust the lockbox to your desired position side to side within the cabinet. Secure the lockbox into the shelf using the four number 10 by 3 8 inch screws. Visit Roburn.com for more product information.